else I hear? Well, I messed up on the last two projects I was working on. So I figured, well, maybe I could do a shop update or whatever you want to call this. Kind of a talky talk thing. I do have something that I made way back in February, right after I started working on the roll top desk for my mom. And uh, I've just been working on that video ever since. <laughs> so maybe I'll get that video out. But speaking of the roll top desk, I was going to do a video on that too, to talk about questions that people might have for me. And I only got two questions and they were both from V Dragon. So let's see what V Dragon had to say. Her first question was, is she your mother or your mother-in-law? She's my mom. Yeah. And the next question she asked is, how did you keep on working on this week after week? Well, I had no deadline, so that made it really easy to put off. But then it also made it really easy uh, to, to just work on it um, as I wanted. But I told myself I needed to at least get one thing done a day on it, you know, during the week, Monday through Friday. And so as long as I did one thing, I was okay. And slowly, as I did one thing after another, um, pretty soon I had the desk done. And I had a few setbacks along the way, but that's just par for the course, isn't it? For woodworking. But it's all done and delivered. And those drawer fronts that I had made too narrow, I am looking at making something to fit those for my bedroom. So yay. So here in August, we had Nadine and Noah for a week. And we did a whole bunch of outdoor adventures including going to the reservoir where we floated on kayaks and tubes and a little raft. And then we also went on a hiking trail up the Mackenzie River to a thing, a blue pool, it's called. It says that this is where the Mackenzie River is coming up out of lava tubes. And so it's the beginning of the Mackenzie River. How cool is that? But man, we really loved it. It was just, and, and, and it's blue, it's blue like this. Noah says it looked like blue Gatorade and I, I would agree with him. <laughs> it looks so cool. So we had fun doing that. And we didn't have Ella this year and we didn't have any family barbecue. So Nev, we didn't get to see Nev either. And that's because of all of this COVID stuff that's going on. But we were happy that we could have Nadine and Noah. And we were talking about all the videos they've been in, and we, we watched a few, and then they reminded me that they had helped me with an OPP. And I had forgotten that. I'm like, what? You guys helped me with OPP? So we looked it up, and sure enough. And I said, well, it's about due for an OPP now. Do you guys want to help me again? So they were all excited, and I was excited. And so we filmed for OPP for August, and we put, I put that out last week. And that was a lot of fun. And man, it was really, really fun seeing how they changed so much from two years ago to now. And the t-shirt I was wearing on the video, which is this one right here, it says, don't fret in Tarja instead. And I had a lot of people comment on that t-shirt. And so um, I love this because fret work, oh, I, that's why it's called fret because you're just fretting about threading that blade over and over and over again. And so I'd rather do intarsia always. And so, yes, don't fret intarsia instead. <laughs> so if anybody wants to get one of these t-shirts, I have them for sale on my website. And I also have another t-shirt that says, I'm never lonely when I'm alone in my shop. That's for sale on there too. And I'm just gonna close my Etsy store and put everything onto my website store now. So I haven't been real good about my Etsy store, keeping things updated on there. So this will be better having it on my WordPress page. I had someone ask me a long time ago about making a video of Wally and Gibbs and I've never done it. Although I started to put all the pictures together and everything for it. And boy, was that fun because people would tell me, wow, Gibbs is really filled out. And I'm like, huh? And then I was looking at his puppy pictures and wow, he really has filled out. 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna show you some pictures of Gibi before when we got him and how he just looked so cutely ugly before <laughs> and now he's just cutely cute and he's really surprised us too because he likes to sleep and eat and he's laying down right now over here I'll show you Well, he's not laying down. Well, he kind of is laying down. Hey, Gibbs, how you doing? <laughs> That's what he usually does. But he's really surprised us lately because he's our hunter. And when he sees a bunny, boom, he's after that thing. And he will hunt the bunny for hours. And he's actually caught two, which was very surprising. Um, anyway, so yes, Gibby, he likes to sleep, he likes to eat, but he also likes to hunt. Crazy little guy. And then while eats, it was fun seeing how he changed too from his little puppy fluffiness. And he was very black and he's turned very silver now. And that's, I think, what schnauzers tend to do, turn into that sh silvery color. But he's just our sweet little love puppy. And up in the shop when I'm working, uh, Gibbs is usually laying on the big dog pillow sleeping and Wally, he comes and goes. And if I get to being in the shop like too long, it's getting later in the evening, then Gibbs will start doing his little grunting that he does to tell me, no, it's time to go home. But sometimes he just says, forget it. And he goes back to the house anyway. But then they're always coming up to check on me, make sure I'm okay either Wally or Gibbs. And so that's really cool. So 2020, what a strange year it has been. I just wonder if pre 2020 will ever be seen again. You know, how we used to do stuff and all that. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm really thankful to have my shop to keep me busy and to do all that kind of stuff and things are opening back up so you can go here and there and all that but then all this other stuff that's going on in the world and it's just not good stuff and I just we, we turn off the news we don't like to watch it anymore makes me think of Jesus you all know how much of a Bible thumper I am <laughs> and Jesus said love God and love people and I think if everybody did that um things wouldn't be so bad the virus would probably still be here, or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think that we should just love God and love people. I guess it's easy to say and hard to do. So with the stuff that just stinks now, I was really happy that we could see Nadine and Noah. And I'm really happy that we can just go down to the grocery store whenever we want. We have to wear a mask, but whatever. We can still buy stuff and there's stuff on the shelves still so that's good been able to get wood and supplies for the shop sandpaper and all that good stuff so yay and it's been really hot lately except this morning it's cooler so i was sitting in the house doing some things on the computer and i got all chilled so i came down here and this is my craft room and because the craft room is like down beneath our house and kind of into the ground a little bit it stays really cool down here So I open the door and I'm sitting in the Sun and I finally feel hot again. So yay! But I feel bad for all those people who are like super hot all the time, especially you people in Arizona oh, I'm Sorry Because yeah, that's hard to do anything in that So well, thanks for joining me everybody for this little update or whatever it was um, I have some projects in the works. Like I said, I messed up on a few of them and anyway, they're okay. <laughs> but does anything ever turn out like you want it to? Sometimes, but not all the time. Come here, Gibby. There. I went and got him. <laughs> there, Gibby Lou. So thanks for joining me, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.